what's the best food at each restaurant, I'm gonna tell you in this video. Hey, what's going on everybody? Rick here, and in today's video, I'm gonna walk all around Universal Studios Florida, giving you all my food recommendations and telling you about all of my favorite foods in this theme park. This video is only going to cover Universal Studios Florida. If you want me to do a version of this for Islands of Adventure, or perhaps have my wife Nikki do her own version of this, then I need you to click that like button. If this video does well, we'll do the other parks. And the first restaurant we come upon on our journey is the Today Cafe, which serves breakfast, lunch, and dinner. As such, I do have a favorite breakfast item. Very simple, the ham, egg, and cheese sandwich for $9.49. Shaved ham, cheddar cheese on a ciabatta with fresh fruit. Now when it comes to lunch, I consider the Today Cafe to be an elevated deli. They have a sandwich called the Bulls and the Bears Platter for $14.49. It is a smoky beef brisket, cheddar cheese, arugula, pickled red onions, horseradish cream on a warm crusty baguette served with potato salad. Also, if you're ever in the mood for pastries, you got the best ones here at the Today Cafe. Mel's Drive-In, an awesome themed restaurant, but I don't have any strong recommendations here other than like the onion rings for $5.49, a nice change of pace from fries. But if you do get fries, you must get the cheese sauce for $1.99. And that's all I have to say about Mel's. Please note, I will be skipping over some restaurants such as Cafe La Bamba here. If I don't have a personal favorite or a recommendation, I'm skipping over it. But one place you should not skip over, Central Park Crepes. You cannot go wrong with any crepe offered here. It is divided into two areas of a savory crepe or a sweet crepe. Personally, I do prefer the sweet. So for me, this place is more of a dessert place or a treat place versus like a place I would have a lunch. Although, like I said, they're all good. So if you wanted a savory crepe for lunch, go at it. They will change that menu up from time to time, add in some seasonal ones. I will admit they did take my favorite one away, the lemon blueberry. So if that ever comes back, jump on it. That's my all time favorite, but they're all good there. Into Springfield, where there is a lot of food. Starting with Bumblebee Man Tacos. This place is a pass holder and a guest favorite. They have three different kind of tacos currently. The menu always subject to change, but there's a chicken taco for $11.99, a carnitas taco for $11.99, and then my favorite, my personal recommendation, is the carne asada taco for $11.49. It's tender marinated grilled beef served in a soft flour tortilla with onions and cilantro. Correction, the carne asada is also now $11.99. This complex here houses several different restaurants, including what we're gonna start with, Krusty Burger. For Krusty Burger, I actually have two recommendations, two favorites. First is the classic Krusty Burger platter for $12.99. It's one third pound burger with secret sauce, cheddar cheese sauce, a giant tomato slice, iceberg lettuce on a specialty bun served with curly fries. And then I also like the heat lamp hot dog, the combo for $14.99. It is a six inch Nathan's famous all beef hot dog served with curly fries and a regular shake. Why do I recommend that crusty burger? Very simple, the secret sauce. The secret sauce gets me, I just love it. Uh, and then the heat lamp hot dog, I like that it's a Nathan's, and I like that it's just a regular sized hot dog and not a foot long hot dog. And then of course, both dishes served with curly fries, and I love curly fries. And holy smokes, I almost forgot about another favorite that is at the Frying Dutchman, the basket o shrimp for $14.99. It is coconut crusted shrimp, deep fried, served with tater tots. The basket o shrimp makes the list as a recommendation because one of my favorite styles of shrimp is coconut. So the fact that it's a coconut shrimp and you know what, if you can't have curly fries, tater tots, they're pretty good too. Yes, I did skip over a couple places inside of there such as Cletus's Chicken Shack. I don't have any personal favorites so 
no need to include it. Some people do like that chicken and waffles. I'm not one of those people. And now let's head into the Wizarding World for some magical culinary creations. Before we bite into this segment of the video, do me a favor. If you're not subscribed to the channel, and my watch history tells me that probably about 2,000 people will watch this video and not be subscribed. If you're one of those people, please click that subscribe button. Or if you watched a few videos and you haven't subscribed yet, now is the time to do so. Thank you so much. The first wizarding food I would like to tell you about is located here in this green taxi hut. This is home to the Jacket Potato, a pass holder favorite, a Rick's Flicks favorite. They have several kinds, but I personally prefer the Loaded Jacket Potato. And I would like to point out, I consider the Jacket Potato to be more, more of a snack than a meal. And now through the brick walls into Diagon Alley. The Leaky Cauldron is the main eating establishment in here. I have three things I would recommend. The specialty chicken sandwich for $14.99. It is a grilled chicken breast, apple butter mayo, Colby cheese, smoky apple bacon, roasted tomatoes on a house-made specialty bun. And then I would also refer you to the beef, lamb, and Guinness stew for $16.99, served in a warm, crusty bread bowl. And then lastly, the cottage pie, $16.99, a savory combination of beef and chunky vegetables and a potato crust served with a garden salad. It's very, this is like comfort food, that cottage pie. And I will also make note that they do serve breakfast inside the Leaky Cauldron. It's just nothing to write home about. And also, you may have noticed that fish and chips did not make the list for the Leaky Cauldron. That's because there's better fish and chips elsewhere. We'll get to those in a moment. And now, what about the food in San Francisco? I have one recommendation in Lombard's Landing. That would be the catch of the season, salmon to be specific at market price. It's the chef selection of the freshest salmon, prepared to your liking, grilled or blackened, grilled corn salsa, sauteed broccolini, crushed Yukon gold potatoes, and roasted tomatoes. Today it's going for $33. They will also do the same thing with mahi mahi and swordfish. I know this video is all about food, but I have to come over here to Shea Alcatraz and show you my main drink recommendation. The Ocean Attack drink for $14.91. That is after tax, very popular. I'll let you look at the ingredients here. But it's not the ingredients that makes the drink. It's the show. Hit it, Murph. <laughs> Shark in the water! Guess what time it is? It's Rick favorite drink. It's the Shark Attack, shark friendly style. It's universal, it's sunny outside. It's Shark Week on TV, and thanks for uh, jumping by. Chop, 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 chop. There's always a next time. Chop, 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 chop. There's also a non-alcoholic version of that drink called the Shark Friendly, and it's under $5. Richter's Burgers. I don't have much to say about this place, no favorites. I will mention, however, for $6.99, they do have truffle parmesan fries. So, some elevated french fries here. In the New York section of the theme park, Louis, home of the famous jumbo cheese slice for $10.99. Also available with toppings, but I like just plain old cheese. Mozzarella, tomato sauce, house-made dough, this is my favorite quick service theme park pizza. If you made it this long into the video, congratulations, I'm about to show you the best place to eat here at Universal Studios Florida. My favorite restaurant in the park, Finnegan's. Everything on here is awesome, but let me highlight three items for you. The Dublin chicken sandwich for $17.95. Marinated grilled chicken breast with aged cheddar cheese. Applewood smoked bacon on a toasted bun with lettuce, tomato, and pickle. And finally, I can tell you about some fish and chips. Irish fish and chips for $23.95. North Atlantic fresh codfish in ale batter with wedge fries served with a side of malt vinegar or tartar sauce. 
And I should mention Finnegan's recently revamped their menu and they have added something that is amazing, phenomenal, the shrimp box D for $18.95. Pan seared Gulf shrimp, crispy bacon, and leek box D potato sauteed summer corn, asparagus tips, grape tomatoes with a citrus butter sauce. Tremendous, phenomenal new dish. So those are my three favorites inside of Finnegan's, but you can't go wrong with anything on that menu. You want a steak? Get it in there. You want a hamburger? Get it in there. You want a deli sandwich? Get it in there. <laughs> you want a cool drink? Get the black and blue, which is part Guinness, part blue moon. Finnegan's Bar and Grill my personal recommendation as a can't miss restaurant in Universal Studios Florida and the newest place to eat here at Universal Studios Florida Illuminations Minions Cafe that's how you have to look it up don't look it up on the app as Minions Cafe look it up as Illuminations Minion Cafe I've had everything in here now I like several of their dishes but one stands out to me that is Chicken Stewart's Szechuan Surprise for $16.99. It is Szechuan glazed rotisserie chicken with stirred fried vegetable lo mein. The Minion Cafe used to be the Monsters Cafe. They kept a couple things in the kitchen. One was the pizza oven and the other was the rotisserie oven. And that was a fantastic rotisserie oven that they had there. I'm glad they kept it because that is how they prepare that Szechuan chicken and that's why it's so good and that's why I recommend it. Now the flavor of that is mainly on the outside on the skin because it's glazed so you get a lot of good flavor but it's not overpowering so it is a personal recommendation though a lot of the entrees in that restaurant are very very good. I think you'll be happy with most anything but especially the Szechuan chicken. Remember at the beginning of this video, I said I could do different versions of this, like an IOA version, and perhaps even a Nikki version of Studios and IOA? Well, that's only if this video does well. How can you help it do well? By clicking the like button. Yes, that really helps. <laughs> Just that little, right there, do that. And it will help the video be seen by more people. And if you do that, perhaps we can do those other versions of my recommendations and my favorite foods and Nikki's. But until that time, don't miss the magic, don't miss the fun, click that subscribe button.